back again again for another week of regional combat sports highlights ladies and gentlemen and we have some funky leagues we have some not really well-known mma promotions here to cover but some amazing knockouts i don't think we have one single submission on today's we showed that buggy choke on the rush city fight show so go check out the rush city fight show every single monday on this channel between 7 and 9 p.m eastern that's right two hours of non-stop combat sports talk we talked about the buggy choke we watched the buggy choke it was incredible it was amazing i was swooning so i'm gonna leave that one off this list we just have a ton of knockouts we will make up for the lack of submissions in the last few rundowns in the next next episode of this next week but let us go to babylon mma where we have two knockouts here ladies and gentlemen starting with casper pack lt who sends his opponent flying before finishing him in 20 freaking seconds he is now 2-0 as a pro and this took place in babylon mma let's check it out Don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. Don't blink. Oh! Oh my god. He didn't go out. He went he flew, but he didn't he didn't go out. Oh, okay, there the ref finally finishes. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my god. We have another one in Babylon, though. We got another one in Babylon. We have Igor Skoskilas, who made his amateur debut okay and he absolutely destroyed his opponent first fight amateur debut one and oh also at babylon mma oh. Oh. are you kidding me are you kidding me bro i mean it wasn't a long one so we might as well just check it out again look at this uppercut oh, oh. are you you kidding me? That was amazing. All right, next we have Roger Souza, a 15 and 7 pro fighter who got a win in new MMA series. And this was a massive upset, ladies and gentlemen. A massive upset in new MMA series. He ends Sergey Diakorov's 11 fight win streak to become the new heavyweight champion again at new MMA series. This one's unbelievable. Kuzo gets hit with the left there, but doesn't go down. Buddy tries to land a knee, doesn't work out for him, and then starts getting hit with some big shots by Souza. Souza going, What? What? Like he's in freaking Stockton, baby. I mean, cage grab there, so you're fucking dead to me, bro. But oh my god, he's he's running, he's running. Taking some lessons from Chelsea Chandler, the track star. Oh my god, boy, that didn't work out. Oh my god, what an upset, bro, bro. I honestly didn't even watch the full clip when I was loading this up. I literally just saw the head kick. I didn't I didn't know everything was going to go on after that. Oh my I should have made this number 5. Not that there's not that I ranked, not that they're in any particular order, but usually we like to save a a juicy one for the end. Wow. Look at his face there. Look at his face. He's happy as hell. All right, let's move on to the next one. We're going to Japan, ladies and gentlemen. And this is how I know that no other MMA community but ours are a bunch of casuals. I'm sorry. Nobody after UFC fight night was watching Pancrase but me. I know this because I was the only one in the chat speaking English, okay? We have a new king and queen of Pancrase, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start with Tatsuya Sieka who landed a beautiful head kick KO to become the new lightweight king of Pancrase. He's now 11 and four as a pro. Boom, shin to the dome. Boom. Man, I was losing my shit watching this. Oh my goodness, beautiful. And his opponent's out, man, he's out. Yeah, there's a little, get on top of that cage and celebrate king. 
Unbelievable. Great, great job there. And the second one we have here, the queen, the new Adam Way queen of Pancrase, Sarami, also known as Satori Takaro. 19 and 14 as a pro. 48 second knockout, and it is vicious, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! We gotta watch that again. Listen to that shit. <laughs> Bow to the queen, ladies and gentlemen. Bow to the queen and king of Pancrase. Oh my goodness. I love Japanese MMA so much. I don't think Pancrase will ever steal my heart away from Ryzen, but God, props to them, man. Props to them. Pancrase. 341. That's right. They're 341 shows into this promotion. I mean, Ken Shamrock fought there. Boss Rutan was a champion there. I mean, so many names came through Pancrase in the early, early days of mixed martial arts, which was very cool to see. Moving on, let's go to Open Extreme Manos. Now, I have never even heard of this league, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos Pranuk Hugo Mozambite. Yes, he's got four freaking names. Carlos Pranuk Hugo Mozambite lands a massive left hook to put out his opponent. He's only four and five as a pro, which is, you know, they, they got fighters like this. Maybe, maybe that's why I haven't heard of this promotion. But based on this knockout, I'm going to throw his record right in the garbage because I don't even care what it is. I'm going to be watching him again. <laughs> Bro, they gotta get their fucking mics taken care of, but that's okay. Low level promotion. Calm down, calm down. Beautiful right and left hook combo. My god, ladies and gentlemen. My god. Oh, bro, they're... Oh, I'm gonna get fucking copyright for this. They're literally playing the Pride theme song in the... That's his winning song? They're playing the Pride theme song in the background when he wins this oh are you kidding me are you kidding me oh my goodness dude this is my new favorite league this is my new favorite league shout out to open extreme manos shout out to open extreme manos ladies and gentlemen we see a knockout like this we see a knockout like this and they're playing the pride theme let's go that is amazing this is my new favorite league the UFC. This is my new favorite league. All right. Got an honorable mention. We're going over to Cage Warriors 169. What an awesome card Cage Warriors 169 was. Way better than the UFC fight night that preceded it. So many great finishes. So many great knockouts. So many great submissions. It was a mix of all the martial arts in that one. And a lot of the fights that went the distance were absolute wars as well. But this one's special because we have Marius Mikolajewski, who was making his pro MMA debut, landing a beautiful switch knee for the knockout in his pro MMA debut, ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors 169. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's watch it one more time. Oh, nothing better. Well, maybe a soccer kick. My goodness, unbelievable indeed. Wow, insane, absolutely insane. But speaking of insane, the last one here is freaking insane as well. NFC, where Max Koga, who is 26, 8, and 1, lands a beautiful uppercut, which leads to the TKO. He is now the NFC new lightweight champion. He's the first double champion in NFC history, getting that lightweight strap. Some might say best for last. You have an argument for this one? Like and subscribe. Oh! Oh my god, brutal, brutal ground and pound. I can't believe he didn't, I can't believe he wasn't knocked out with some of, with some of that ground and pound. 
Dude, these are the most boring announcers ever. Winner by knockout in the second round. Ooh, are you kidding? Are you... Bro. Bro, we're reacting to these highlights, and we have more energy than this guy. We're watching this shit on tape delay, and we have more... I gotta turn this up. We have more energy than, than this guy. Second lightweight champion in NFC history. And the first double... Bro, NFC, hire me, bro. Hire me. This guy sucks. Champion. The fight is amazing. The announcer sucks. Let's take a look at the replays. Oh my god, dude. This guy's got a chin. Yeah, it was the uppercut. It was the uppercut. Bro, this is literally the worst Shot MMA commentator I've ever heard. The worst. This is the only shot that knocked him out back in the day. It's almost comical, it's so bad. It's almost taken away from how beautiful this highlight is, it's so bad. Beautiful work by Max Damn, Beautiful uppercut. Here you can see it again. Oh. Drop down from this run. Still want to do the Chef's freaking piss, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Well, that does it for this week's regional MMA and combat sports highlights. As always, like and subscribe. Comment if I missed any. Comment if you have any highlights from this last week that you want me to highlight and react to on the next one. Smash that like button and subscribe, and I will see you on that next one.